All right, so what's up everybody and welcome back to another video on this channel. And today it's time for some winter snowy photography. And I'm using the Canon EOS R5 with the R35 mil macro. So we can get some close-ups too. And yeah, let's see what we can find here. Hopefully we can get some good shots. Let's see. Nice. Ooh. So my basic plan for today is to get some nice close-ups of these small details here. And I want to take a few photos of the Canon EOS R, maybe even of the EOS R5. So a few Prague photography shots here in the nature. And I think we will start with that and then we will see what we can find. So let's start right here. I think that's a good place to get some nice photos. Let's place it like this. Perfect. So I will use an aperture of f4 to get most of the product in focus. looking beautiful so oh yeah that is nice let's remove it oh yeah that's looking beautiful Look at that top down shot. Nice. Okay, so now let's find another place where you can take some good photos. Yeah, maybe this one here. Let's place it like, I think, uh, this might be great, yeah. Yeah, look at that. That is looking beautiful. Let's remove it. Let's remove the landscape. So the main part here is to find the right angle to get the best shots. And I think in this direction it is the best. Another top-down shot. Yeah, that is looking beautiful. Okay, so now it's time for the EOS of 5. Again, I will use this one here because I really like this place. So we'll put it right here. 
Let's go to 35. Oh, let's say 50. And now let's see what we can do here with this beauty. We need some more ISO. Yeah, look at that. And that is beautiful. Top down. Let's go to f5.6. So definitely use here f5.6, the fast shutter speed, because we took these photos handheld, and the rest is ISO. So in case if you want to do product photography, this is all about try and error and to find the right angle. Every product has an angle that lets the product stand out and that's the one that you need to find. And then you have to build around the set around this. So let's put the camera right here again. And now let's try to capture it again. I mean, look at that. As soon as I noticed which angle I want to use, you can get some good results pretty fast. And yeah, this camera is a beauty. It's really easy to get some good results. And I really like this contrast. So the black camera and the white snow, that's just crazy good. Maybe, let's put it right this. this. In this case I always try to focus on the Canon logo so the camera is in focus and not just the lens. Right now we already got a couple of good results and by the way if you're interested in some more product photography behind the scenes definitely write it down in the comments and then I try to make some more videos based on product photography because that's something that I really like. So let's head in this direction here. Maybe we can find some good spots here. So now let's take some nature photos. Let's go back there and see if we can find anything else. But the main challenge for today was to take some great product photos and we already got a few, a couple of good shots. So challenge completed. So now let's see if we can find some, some more nature shots, some close-ups. And yeah, I think that's the last step for today. This dude here. Focus. I mean, just look at that. There's so many spots that you can use. Nice one. 
So yeah, today we already got a couple of great shots. I mean, you don't even need that much to get here good results because there are so many random spots and you can use them all to get some individual pictures. So the only thing that you just need to do is to get out there and get these photos. So yeah, I think and that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're interested in some more product photography like this, definitely write it down in the comments. And I will do some more tips and tricks about that. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're new here, don't forget to smash the subscribe button to stay updated for upcoming videos. And I see you in the next video.